many reasons. The first and the foremost reason is we have federal bureaucrats interfering between us and our child's education. Like I have stated before, the first thing we need to do is we need to get federal bureaucrats out from in between us and our children, and we need to start teaching our children the original intent of the Constitution. Um, as I have stated, there are three main questions, and every senator should ask this, and every person should be taught this. Is this constitutional, and is it the proper role of federal government? Is this the right thing to do morally? And will this better the country and the people of this country and this state? Those are three questions everybody should go back to, everybody should ask themselves, and every senator should be able to answer yes to before they vote to pass a bill. First thing is first, teach our children, get the federal bureaucrats out and teach our children the original intent of the United States Constitution. Thank you. Okay, the next media that we would like to have come up is KVNU from 610. <laughs> All of our media has asked different questions to different people, so they squeezed out the one question that they wanted, so. All right, a little something different. Can I each have you pick a number between 1 and 27? <laughs> Say your name. Tyler, I'm sorry, I'm Tyler Riggs with KVNU 610. Will you each pick a number and tell me between 1 and 27, please? Six, I will pick 20. Eight. Okay, I'd like you each to tell me what that amendment of the Constitution means. Tyler. Tyler's a troublemaker, have you noticed? Just kidding. <laughs> no, we love him. Tyler, you ought to come tell us. <laughs> hey, they have handbooks. I'm impressed. They've got handbooks. I'm the only one without notes. You guys want to look at right to a speedy trial is that followed today you know in the military where I was a uh, jog officer I guess I have a minute on this yeah go ahead okay yeah uh, 60 seconds okay. uh, we had a speedy trial clock this meant something when we were federal pr prosecutors in the Navy if I did not bring my case a, a felony court-martial case within 90 days, unless the defense requested a continuance, we lost the case. Uh, we need to have more of that rule that's in the military, the uniform called the military justice in our situation today because it's ridiculous that some of these trials are taking one, two, and three years to get through. Uh, so it's questionable whether we are granting a right to a speedy trial to keep the charge with crimes. Well, I guess I'll go next. The 20th Amendment. Uh, it will take me more than 60 seconds to read through the entire amendment. If anybody's familiar with it, it goes over a lot of different things. The first one is the term of the president and the vice president shall end at noon on the 20th day of January. Of course, that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, once the election is held on the noon of that day, the president, the new elected president, shall be sworn in and take office. Of course, the old president should be out. Section 2 says the Congress shall assemble at least once a year, and such meetings shall begin at noon on the third day of January, unless they shall, by law, appoint a different day. Of course, once again, that's pretty explanatory. Uh, as far as Congress goes, we meet at a very minimum once a year, or, or uh, as dictated by law, could be on a different day than the third day of January. Section 4, the Congress may, by law, provide for the case of the death of any other persons from who of the House of Representatives may choose president uh, whenever the right of choice shall have develop upon them. And of course it goes on. There's a huge amount of sections in here. I only got 10 seconds left. Of course the 20th Amendment just comes down to stating facts uh, about when people or when elected representatives should resume office. Thank you. <laughs> I think that's a great question. I knew that I should have memorized the entire Constitution before I came tonight. 
Uh, amendment 8, pretty straight up. This is the no excessive bail amendment or fines or un cruel and unusual punishment. That is a great question. How many out there in the audience have uh, read all of these and how many could answer this? Perfect. We're moving to Cache County. <laughs> Amendment 13, Section 1, neither slavery nor involuntary servitude, except as a punishment for crime, whereof the party shall have been duly convicted, shall exist within the United States, or any place subject to their jurisdiction. Section 2, Congress shall have the power to enforce this article by appropriate legislation. I think that last sentence is what we really need to get to with the whole Constitution and where we're going. Appropriate legislation. That's something, as I've said earlier, we're lacking so much of. Unless we have appropriate legislation and proper caring for the states that we're supposed to represent, the Constitution doesn't help us. Thank you.